and welcome back once again to your favorite podcast, For You Page. Today I have my friend Michael with me. Hello. Say hi. Or just hi. stare at the camera that works. <laughs> So how you What's been? What's up, guys? Uh, I'm doing good. I'm excited. We are both going to EDC this weekend in Las Vegas, so we were very excited and giving up for that. First time ever. Your first time ever? Yeah. It is my second time. Very, I'm... very... You gotta film yourself walking in. That's what everybody says. Yeah. That's what everybody says. So. Or if you can wait... But then there's pressure. If you like... can wait to meet up with us so we can walk in together, I can yes. film you. Yeah, I should... Well, gosh, can you imagine <laughs> trying to find each other there? Well, when we're walking it, inside, God, no. But that's yeah. why I'm saying if you want to meet up, we should probably... Yeah, we should figure out where we can when meet we're like at the gate. Well, when you're camping... Anyways, we'll talk about it later. Yeah, you guys care, back right? To, back to the podcast. Um, we're going to talk about some silly little things, um, like some Gen Z slang. Don't look at the list yet. Okay. Michael asked me <laughs> if we could talk about some slang, because for Gen Z, how old are you? I am 29, 29 and out of touch. And I'm 25. So I'm like Cusper Gen Z. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'm gonna get any of these because I don't use any of the terms that I hear okay. kids use. Um, we're gonna start off with serving cunt. Serving cunt? Yeah. Is that like a bad waiter? No, like <laughs> Okay, um, serving. We'll just say that. Serving. It's serving. Any I'm, idea? No, are you Okay, it's about an outfit. She, like she's serving. She's serving, serving what? Her like outfit. her body. She's like, serving she's like, her outfit to the world. You know. Like, hey, welcome to Chili's. I'm yeah, serving this, exactly. honey. Like Ser that's what it is. Serving cunt <laughs> specifically is mean that she looks fucking fire. Interesting. So I have like, literally never heard that. Yeah, it's new. I don't say it clearly. Um, Can I say it? Like as a guy? Can I walk like? I don't. I think. I think it originated. Yeah, <laughs> In, like, Just, the LGBT community serving So cunt. probably not. I'm not, I, I'm not going to be the one to tell you that. Because it's, like, <laughs> the first, like, I saw one time on a video. And I was like, oh, that was a term. <laughs> I, okay, I you don't could, know if I can like, do that one. You could be like, it's serving dick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so true. I can, I'll, I'll try that one. All right, well, uh, it's giving is, like, another one. Oh, yeah, so I know, you know it's giving. Okay. Like, it's giving, like. And then you would, like, describe it. Like, yeah. Like it's a, giving podcast. Yeah, it's giving... It's giving um, white man. Yeah. <laughs> it's giving uh, Queer Eye for the Straight Guy vibes. <laughs> yes. Something like that, right? Okay, you got it. All right. Bombastic side eye. Bom Dude, I Bombast just heard this from eye. the... I just heard this for the first time yesterday from my friend. And I'm guessing it's like when you're really like offended or like you're like really put off by something, you're just kind of like giving like mega like... It's basically any time that you would physically side eye, you just say side eye. No way. Yes. <laughs> oh, <It's like laughs> just vocalizing your eye. emotions. Bombastic side. Well, sometimes if you like have like want to side eye something and the other person can't see you side eyeing it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Also, it happens a lot in the comments. Like I, I got a lot of these from TikTok comments. They just say bombastic like, side. They, yeah. Yeah, because like... I guess you can't see people going like in in, <laughs> in content. So like. That's so funny, bombastic. I don't. I mean, I'm... It, it came from a TikTok audio that was like, bombastic side eye. I wonder if I can find it. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> of course. Bombastic side eye. <laughs> Criminal offensive side eye. You haven't seen this. Never seen that. Oh my Bombastic side eye. Bombastic side eye. Criminal bombastic side eye. What's up? Did you send anybody? Ten. Oh, sorry. Did you send them? I'm not 100% sure. Somewhere on the floor. Good? <laughs> Thank you. Um, that guy's walking into us, like, just bomba- like, imitating <laughs> bombastic side eye. <laughs> Imagine he knows yeah, that what was, it is. Yeah, that was a side eye right yeah, now. Was it? Random guy just walking that's in true. and talking while we're filming, and we can't see him, so we're just kind of like, yeah, that's a, see, perfect, bombastic perfect side example. Eye. All right, um, well, we're gonna throw it back a little bit to okay. the older one that we talked about on the podcast before, Riz. Oh yeah, that's easy. I know Riz. It's like, uh, is it easy? Yeah, it is. It's like your ability to flirt. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's it's charisma. Yeah, exactly. Charisma. That's yeah. what it's short for. 
Oh my gosh, charisma. That's, That's why it's okay. Charis. I like that one. I it like makes that sense. One. Right? I don't. I don't ever use it, but yeah, like I'm aware that I don't have any. Like I need to work on my. You do riz. not have riz. I Adam have is no. constantly trying to help I, you with your riz. <laughs> did I have bombastically bad <laughs> riz? <laughs> You're gonna start saying bombastic Seriously, all the time. You guys, now. you guys try to set me up with girls, and I and like I fail tremendously, and I can feel you guys just like bombastic side yeah. eyeing you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I'm trying to give you some riz, and yeah. you're not giving um, flirty. <laughs> yeah, I'm. You're giving. Uh, you've never had sex vibes. <laughs> um, that is so real. Or like you're so real for that. I see that a lot in comments for that people. That is so real. Yeah, it's like you're so real for that. One hundred. Like you know how we used to say. Yeah, that? it's it's yeah. Like keep it one hundred. Yeah, keep it one. No, well, yeah, exactly. Like it's legit is yeah, what I would legit, use. Legit. Yeah. What I used to say was like, well, oh, that's legit. Well, people say it in response to people being like very honest about something. That's like. Um, so is it better than no cap? It's not the same as no cap. Okay. Um. Like, if I said, um, God, I don't want to say anything, like, embarrassing. Uh, yeah, don't do that. Um, 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 uh, okay, well, I'm just gonna go to a, go to a, go to a TikTok. Okay. In this one, I know that they Teen say it. Teen Sussy. Hi, I work at an undisclosed oh. location. Anyways, the other Hold day. On. I gotta log in. To see the, um, Comments for some reason. Interesting. It always surprises me when I click on a TikTok link and it Hi, brings it up like this because it looks like YouTube for a second. Like, yeah. Wait. Also, the interface, the TikTok interface on the web is just fucking awful. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So, like this comment said, you're so real for hitting your pen before work. So if I hit my pen before work and then this, this is what this girl's talking about, she hit her pen and then she went into work. She's like completely. Like you're bored. so real yeah. for that. Like. So you're just being your authentic self. Like. Yeah. In a sense. Yeah, it's like someone being like, but also honestly, relatable. me too. Like, I, in my, like, I would say, honestly, me too, in response, instead of saying, you're so real for that. Okay. Because, like, I relate. Like, me too. Or, I get yeah, that. Yeah, I would or, like, probably I get say, that like, or something. well, I would never say, but facts. Like, <laughs> like, yeah, I hit my pen before I went into work. Oh, facts. Or. Yeah, I guess. Mm, no. Yeah, well, it's like a similar kind what is of. It, what is the phrase again? You're so real for that. This one says, oh, you're, you're so, so real, real for, real for that. Yeah. You're so real for that. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> for being you. <laughs> Good job. Close enough. Um, okay, we'll just go on to this one, uh, this TikTok. Anyways, we'll just watch it, and then she talks about some phrases that I just want to know. This whole okay. whole video is just so incredibly Gen Z coded. Really? Oh, that's another Ooh, word, like saying something coded, coded. or like something core. Okay, just meaning that it's like, like, this is so, like, Crocs coded. I got nothing. I did get new Crocs. Or, like, this is so Disney coded, which means that, like, it gives you Disney vibes. Right. Like, if yes. it's coded something, yeah, yeah. it gives you the vibe of that. Yes, got it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to skip over yeah, the fact that I just got new Crocs. They're very nice. Yeah. You got them I, in sport mode. It took me 29 years to get my first pair of Crocs. I had some in elementary school, and mine were orange, too, actually. Yeah, I feel like I'm walking on Cheetos. I actually but, really want to get a pair of platform Crocs. Dude, they have a hundred different versions now, and I just went with the basic ones. I want to get those little, little, little the Croc charms. I just think it's so cute how people are, how, oh, that Crocs are another Gen Z thing, actually. They Everyone are. Everyone in Gen Z is wearing Crocs. I'm not gonna lie, I bought them because someone from think, Gen Z told me to get them. I think it's because Crocs are comfortable and they're like going to school a lot, so they want comfortable shoes. And you can customize them. Yes. So they're very like one yeah. of a kind. Yeah, 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 it's. They're comfortable, right? They're surprisingly so, like, comfortable. Got, Those look phenomenal too, though. Adam got me these. What are they called? Uh, are they Yeezy slides? I think so. I don't know. Are we allowed to talk about Yeezy? Uh, <laughs> shoes. Yeah. Shoes. Anyways, so those charms you're talking about are yeah. $20. Oh. You're lying. Super From funny. the Croc store. No, from Journeys. But it's a pack of five. And so I was looking at them. And one of them you could was just probably get no. them like on Etsy or something. Yeah, you can get them on Amazon. You can get them anywhere, and they're way yeah, less expensive. Just do that. But in Journeys, they had a pack that was labeled high school, so the charms were like high school themed. Headphones, totally on board. Pizza slice, totally on board. 
Uh, I'm nervous. Is this going? High school was pizza slice, video game controller, headphones, and a mushroom. Do high schoolers do mushrooms? I never did. I, it took again. It took me twenty-seven years to do mushrooms. Do high schoolers do mushrooms? I don't understand the mushroom either. Me neither. And I'm not talking about like do high schoolers pizza do mushroom. mushroom. I'm talking like it was like a red, like red with white spot yeah. mushroom on the high school Maybe it was themed like, pack. Mushrooms are like in right now as like a trend. Like true. the mushroom like print is like very like okay true. Maybe that's like cartoony why. and like but child yeah that's weird though. I even asked the Journeys guy, and he was like, uh, I, because it looked, well, that's not fair. It looked like he was someone who liked to do mushrooms. So I was like, high school mushrooms? He's like, I don't know, dude. Did he like, look like he was in high school? No. But he, <laughs> <laughs> no, he did not. He looked my age. Okay. But I mean, it's such an interesting, like, you, it sells a pack of five in, like, all of those, and yeah, the mushroom was very interesting. I feel like... Well, what, what would be like a cute thing to put on a crock that's like high school themed? Well, like a pizza slice was good. Or something like that, well, maybe? pizza slice, video game controller, headphones. Like I was a soccer on board. ball. That would have been nice. Yeah, I mean that's probably on a sports pack. What else goes on in high school? Like a pencil. No, what's like real? What's like a real high school thing? Like, I was gonna say a spit wad, but I've never done a spit wad. An eraser. <laughs> no. Oh god, what do we do in high Throwing school? Throwing eraser bits at each other. That's what we did. Really? Nah, we she used to like middle school. Our high school would would literally take a full, metal forks and we would in the cafeteria throw them to the ceiling. We did that with wads of like wet paper towels. No, we and would tissues. get our forks stuck. We would in the just ceiling. like throw like paper towels up and get them stuck. That's crazy That's though. Gross. I feel like ooh, yeah. wet paper towels just It was stuck gross. There was just the like ceiling. mounds just like on the ceiling. Yeah, <laughs> you're imagining. So maybe it. spit wad wouldn't be a bad pen. Because it sounds we like we also did that. Like you had the straws with the, the thing and and the rubber bands, and they would like snap it on. That was more like elementary school that they would snap it on you, on your legs. It was like. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. What else? I was just thinking like, what? How interesting I did oh, to see what you would be like in high school. Me? Yeah. I was a cheerleader. No way. Um, like, R O W D I E. That's the way we spell rowdy, rowdy. Actually, like, it was O oh, W. Did you do... That's how it went. Was that for basketball? Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever do wrestling cheerleading? We didn't have wrestling. Wrestling cheerleading is really cool because you get down on the ground. Well, I did it for football, And they too. used the mat as, like, a percussion board, so they would, like, That's slam cool. the we mat did a, with We clapping. did a lot of, like, stomp and, like, clap type things because we didn't... Yeah. People, did, like, hated did. it when we cheered. <laughs> they, like, hated the cheerleaders, so we would do things that, like, were, like, not that annoying. Yeah, we, our student section was, like, the, the the cheering part. So, like, the cheerleaders were there, and I and they were doing a really good job. They, we had girls that were doing backflips and stuff, but, like, the student section was, like, the, the, the part that got the entire crowd going. We had our own chants that weren't always appropriate and weren't always nice, but they were hilarious we and didn't do that. fun. My school had, like, no school spirit. No, like, really? We were the school... Well, we had, like, some. It was, like, mostly... Um, we had this, like, really big... It's called the biggest small school tournament in the world. It's a Redwood Classic. It's, like, a basketball tournament. That sounds for dope. It was dope. It's running on, like, 60 years of, like, hosting all these schools all across Northern California from, like, the very top border from, like, Tool Lake down to, like, the Bay Area. There's, like, teams that come, like, private schools that come from the Bay Area. That's really cool. And that tournament happens during the week of school in November. Um, so it starts on Wednesday, and it's like basketball games are happening at like 11 in the morning. Yes, yeah. And so that's... students are coming in the gym all day watching we, the games. That's and what would happen we get for our so wrestling. fucking hyped for that. Yeah, that's, that's exciting. Favorite. That sounds dope. Do you guys it dress up and stuff? We would do like, we would always have like a theme. So every home basketball game, there'd be like a theme that we would we do. Would, we had Spirit Week. And yeah. like for homecoming, sure. we would dress up and stuff. But that's about it. Well, in Iowa, there's literally nothing else to do. So, like, I mean, I lived in a small we town. We get very obsessed We had with a county sports. fair. That happened the week after school started, and everyone went. The everyone, week after school started? Yeah. And so the, I'm assuming people just missed school for that. Well, on Friday, everyone would leave at, like, 2 o'clock. School yeah, that makes three, sense. But everyone would, like, leave, ditch their last class. That makes sense. And go. We have, and then we'd have a football game there, too, and all of the seniors had to, like, volunteer, like, to look for parking. So was it was, like, like, a very, dance? very, was there very a dance? school involved. This is what I want to know. Was there a dance? At the county fair? Yes. No, like, there was for, a like, rodeo. middle schoolers. There was a rodeo. There was a rodeo. We didn't even have a rodeo. It was the it was the um, Mendocino County Fair and rodeo 
Apple Fair and Rodeo. R like people riding bulls and horses and stuff? Yeah, I wonder if I can pull up pictures. I gotta, I gotta give a lot of credit to people that do rodeo. That stuff seems gnarly. I have a See? Oh. This is this is my this is the football the field. The barrel actually. racing. Man, that's this so cool. This is we would have the rodeo here and this is also the football field. You can see all the sponsors. That's Mendocino do... County, why do I know that? Um that's where I'm from. Maybe I've talked about it. Mendocino. Mendocino Farms. Thank you. Mendocino Farms Mendocino is Farms. what? It's a sandwich place. It has nothing to do with Mendocino oh. County. <laughs> it's just a sandwich place. Okay, never mind. All right, well there you go. <laughs> see this is a... You want to know a fun fact? Apple show. You rodeo. see this parking lot? This is a this is a real fun fact. It's an apple riding. What is that? I think it's supposed to be a horse, but they change the date on it every year. Oh, okay, I understand. To like fit the weekend. Yeah, got it. You want to know something funny about this parking lot? Parking lot. lot. Okay. I lost my virginity there. <laughs> I mean, it's cars is like an oddly normal place to lose your virginity, huh? It's after prom. Well, so was mine. Wait, yeah. I don't know. You're, you lost your virginity after prom? Or no, in it was before that. I was, my, I think mine's the other stereotypical one where we're like, it was like the f one of the first times we were ever all drunk together, which <laughs> it's not the most romantic or like memorable way, but in Iowa again, you guys are, yeah. I get it. It's really all there I is to do. First of all, I'm from Chicago, and then I grew up in a small ass town. Look at this. Yeah, fair point. Yeah. So I get it. Yeah. So there. Yeah. Okay. I mean, is we there were... a romantic way to lose your virginity? Rose petals. Because you're on so. The bed. I gotta. I gotta say, like, you're probably. Most people are probably like so like. Uh, nervous. Oh, well, I, I was. Yeah. And I it was. hurt. I guess not everybody is. Some people are probably just like mega riz and just know how to go into Some it. Some people are probably just really excited and just want to do it. Yeah, true. That's a great point. But I guess the most romantic way would be like, if you just like planned like a romantic date and then yeah. went home afterwards, had like rose petals and some wine or something. I don't know. I don't know how old you're going to be. I was though. about to say, <laughs> how old? <laughs> Wait a second. Because I was 15, I think. I was 16. Yeah. I just, 15 year old Michael. Probably. I'm imagining you in high school. We next time we'll go through each other's photos of like okay. high school because I have a bunch. Okay. I was a, I was annoying. I so. was, I was quite different than how I am now. I would say I'm exactly the same, <laughs> somehow, exactly the same, which is I am not always a good thing. I was completely a different person. I look very similar, like visually. Yes, because I have seen photos of you from when you were there. You do look very similar. I don't know about me because it, I think I look exactly the same, honestly. Oh, yeah, I think I look the exact same as I have ever since I was like 10 years old. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Um, we should do that though. Let's go. Let's sometime. watch this TikTok. Yeah. Okay. What do what? We got off on a little sidetrack. It's uh, okay. We should go through, we should like look at Yeah, each we'll other do that not on the school. podcast though. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hi, I work at an undisclosed coffee location. Anyways, the other day I came to work and I had hit my pen before work. I will not lie to you. And my um, co worker here, Lynn, um, uses they, them pronouns. And um, I. So we have a drink right now called the Pineapple Paradise Drink, and basically they were like, hey, can you make this drink for me because Pause it. I'm allergic to pineapple. Okay, something I've never done at Starbucks is ever order not coffee. And and sometimes, I'm not going to lie, I get really frustrated when I'm like in a line for drive through Starbucks, and out, out of that window comes a tray, and it's just a bunch of like pink dragon fruit teas. I, okay. Like, I think it depends on the time of day. Right? I, what because am I judging for? Why am I judging? Some people get great joy out of their passion fruit dragon Yeah, you're lattes. right. Why are, you, why are you so judgmental? Start the day. I'm so sorry. But I was going to say, I think it makes way more sense to get more like fun drinks or like pink drinks or lemonades and stuff later in the day. Because I will have a coffee in the morning and then sometimes I'll go back to Starbucks later in the day because I like still need something or I'm mm. going on my way to work or something like that and I'll get a pink drink. I've never had one. Good. If I try it's it, it's just because that's I don't want. I already had caffeine, that. and I don't want to have another like too much more. Yeah, that's a great point. And some people don't drink coffee. Some people don't drink caffeine. That's a good point. They also they so, might be with people who do. So they does that have with. caffeine in it? I think it has. It's, it's tea, tea, right? I yeah. think it has like some, but so like I bet not. You some people get jazzed off those things. Some people drink a sip and they get the sugar rush of a like you know Mormon type people. <laughs> 
I'm gonna Not get us. one. Before I come on the show again, I will get a pink drink. Is that what it's Bring called? Bring it, yeah. Bring it to the show and we'll okay, do a we'll taste try. test All right, cool. in front of the camera. Okay. Okay. Um, Anyways, I am paying attention. By the way, we are watching this video because this girl is clearly the most Gen Z person I've ever seen on TikTok and is telling a story in the most Gen Z fashion and I do. we're analyzing it. Yeah. And in my head I was like, oh my god, like that's so embarrassing. Like they can't drink pineapple juice, their thusy must taste terrible. And then I was like, oh my god, who the fuck am I to assume they have a thusy? <laughs> They're theminals. Must taste terrible. <laughs> Anyways, so um, I told them my um, thought process, my high thought process, and we've been laughing at it ever since. Like, come say hi. Them in those. They're serving Zant. They're serving Zant. You remember they're serving Kant? <laughs> yes. They're serving Zant. <laughs> yes, because it's they, them. Yeah. Kant. Or yeah. they, them pussy. So it's pussy. <laughs> so it's Ooh. Theminals. I th when I hear thussy, I just think thick pussy. But you know, like, the thussy, cussy, mussy thing? I've heard of mussy as in or like man. using, using like ussy to describe something. Oh no! Like you know, um, those people with the inflatable couches, like they're called couch ussies. Oh yeah, that could, that could yeah totally. So you see anything what I mean? like yeah, that yeah. kind of looks like a little bit like a pussy. Yes, anything that looks slightly like a vagina, and then you just put the first letter yeah. before that. Yeah, like, I like that. That's fun. Shoe ussy. Yeah, or something like that. Got it. Anyways. Um, what was that? What Gen Z thing was that? That was thussy. just showing Thussy. Okay. Thussy. I like Thussy. Or, yeah, whatever. Um, Ussy thing. Ussy. Bussy. <laughs> and they, they, they also say, like, my could never. Like, my, like, I could never. Like, my dad could never. Or my, how, I, how would I describe this? My, um, oh, like, if they're, a girl is, like, wearing an outfit. Mm-hmm on TikTok mm -hmm. and she has her boobs out kind mm -hmm. of someone will comment and be like my boobs could never got it yeah I've, I do that I actually say this one a lot I say I could never I could I do say that a lot yeah. and I usually am very dramatic about it <laughs> like I could never yeah I have definitely heard you say yeah. that um, everyone's so creative that one's from a TikTok out of you everyone's so creative let's see if we can find it I mean everyone is well I don't think that's it. Everybody's so creative. Is it? Ex oh. so <laughs> Is it sarcastic? You ever thought about making your collard greens in a way that you've never made before? In a way that a have his turn and look at so you with all. I think it's just this person. It's sar Is it sarcastic? Everybody's so creative. You ever yes. want to make something for breakfast that you've never? It's like, wow, everybody's so creative, and they're and like doing something terrible. that's just terribly stupid. Yeah. It's like, why are you doing it that way? And, and it's just someone's comments. Everybody's so creative. Yeah, it's like okay. It's like okay, honey. Yeah, okay. It's sure like the new are. the new version of um Oh You Sweet Summer Child, which I hated by the way. Hated that. Oh You Sweet Summer Child. Never heard that. Really? It came from Game of Thrones. It was a millennial sling. <sighs> and it was it was basically a condescending way to say, Oh, you don't know what you're talking about, let me tell you. What is the Game of Thrones reference, do you know? It's Oh You Sweet Summer Child. That's, Who says it? Uh one of the like, um, I'll, I'll look it Who up. Who are they speaking about? Do you know? Sorry, I don't mean to like hop quiz. No, your it's ass. okay. Um, we'll figure it out. Oh, it's, you it's, sweet. It's one of the child. like nurse mom. I bet you wives. it's that older lady. I bet you it's the older lady because that lady was smart and wise, and she was always dropping knowledge, and she she knew bet she did she knew better than everybody. I'm pretty sure she died. I don't know. Video. It. Oh no, that's a. That's a different old lady. Yeah, I mean, I've never heard anybody say that. Was that was that the one, or there's a new one? No, that was it. That was a new that, one. Okay. That's an old term. That wasn't... I said that... Um, uh, what did I say? Everyone's so creative is the new version the, of that. Okay, got it. Okay, Nailed Because it. it's just like a sarcastic, condescending, like, oh, you don't know. Yeah, got it. You know what I mean? Yep. Um, and then no because, or stop, because, like, like they'll respond and be like, stop, and then they'll, like, talk about something. It's like when they're really excited, well, like, no because, or it's like, stop. It's like in reaction to something that somebody says, they'll be like, stop, I just totally did something like that, or something. something. So is it rude? Or is no, it like more excited. like reciprocated excitedness? It's like excited. Like Yes, okay. They're like, oh, stop, like, I totally love stop. that. Stop, I'm just, yes, yeah. I love it's that too. Yeah, it's like a very, stop. like, like. 
abrasive reaction. Okay, got but, it. But yeah. Um, and then I just wanted to show you some template memes. You know, have you seen those? No. So we'll just go through them quickly. Like image ones? Yeah. Oh no, TikTok ones. TikTok I do ones. anything with Pedro Pascal is killing it right now. Yes, and eating just the sandwich, and then it's someone. I think I know what that is. Talking about it. It's not. It's more about the trend. It's not what the video is. It's really. Yeah. About yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm familiar with this one. I like his shirt. Nice. Nice. Okay. This one's good. This one I like. The dancey dance. Yes. I like this one because of the sound. Yes, the sound with it makes it. <laughs> Absolutely. I wonder what so he good. was actually listening to. I don't know, but it's great. Death metal. Just hanging around. Oh, this one's good. <laughs> what are you doing? What? <laughs> What'd you do? <laughs> Nothing. Just <laughs> hanging around. Just hanging around. I love that one. Adam said that that's from something. I just don't know what it's it is. It's from um, the Howard Stern show. Well, that guy uh, was always on the Howard Stern show. Yeah. All right, and then this one. Oh, this is this just, is the best one out. Just them two just looking at each other, and then he's like, "Again." That great. movie was great, by the what way. What is it from? It's from I, I can't remember the name of the movie, but it's like the very meta Nicolas Cage movie, mm. and it was surprisingly good. God, this is another one. It's kind of newer. Lucky me. It's Rachel Green going. Those are the ones going around right now. Um, yeah, that's uh, Pedro I Pascal ones are good. You didn't, yeah. hear, you didn't see the. I've Rachel never seen the Rachel one. Let's watch it. Let me see it one more time. Rachel Green, lucky me. Rachel Green is her character from Friends. Yeah. Got it. Lucky me. She's being sarcastic, so yeah. it's like the caption will be something and the like sarcastic. Yeah, sarcastic response. Like, oh, too, great! Like, I'm so happy I get to do that. Nope. Yeah. But yeah, what was your favorite slang term or meme that you I'm learned? a big fan of fussy. Fussy, yeah, me too. Who isn't, though? <laughs> Love fussy. And with that, <laughs> we'll end it there. <laughs> Hope you get your fussy thuminals and penises I'm going to work check. on my riz so I can get more fussy. Okay. It's giving fussy. Yes. We are Gen Z now. Do they still do? Is no. That a thing now? No, I totally forgot I about it. I just this. started doing Ice that. Ice in your veins. Wait, <laughs> that was so old. You just Listen, started doing it. Listen, I don't care. I got ice in my veins. I used to do that a lot, actually. Dang oh, it. I've been throwing it back. Just when I thought I was I there. know. I, we can bring it back again. Yeah. I think it's about like a year old or something. Something Perfect. like that. It's retro already. I mean, we can just do it. It's vintage. I'll All be right. 70 doing it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this week's episode of For You Page. We will catch you next time.